Where I'm shooting from, it ends up in a switch. I said I was taking my time, but now I'm committed. What's up, everybody? This is Sean. This is Alan. And this is Inside the Square, the wrestling podcast coming at you from sunny St. Mary's, California, Maryland. A lot has gone on, big buddy. A lot. A lot. And the Royal Rumble's coming up. Coming up soon. But, you know, let's talk about a little bit about TNA right now. Trinity is gone. My gosh. They should have re-signed her. Hey, man. Uh, she lost to Jordan Grace. Clean. Clean. Very good match. Jordan um, Grace is... Tough cookie. I like Jordan Grace, man. It's to a, a certain extent. She doesn't she doesn't have the charisma Trinity has. Yeah. But she's really good. She had that belt before multiple times. Yes. And I and like I said, we're gonna give give it up to Trinity. Give her her flowers now. She's she's been killing it yeah. for a long time. She's been champ for a long time. And she beat Deanna Peraza clean. Yeah, and twice, and she's been the standard bearer for the company. Probably the most popular wrestler they've had, like for a year. Pro- I'm ser- I'm serious. Probably the most popular wrestler they've had in years. Yeah, they should have kept her. And you know, I think it's hard to keep a wrestler when WWE back up the money truck. Yeah, I mean, only only people who got more, you know, similar money is Tony Khan. Yeah, and he's a billionaire. He actually is. And- I-, I don't like Tony Khan that much. Hey, I know what you're saying, man, but he's a kingmaker, too. He just, uh, you know, from, from what I'm hearing, Mercedes Monet is set debut on AEW very soon. It's going to happen sooner or later. And I think also, I think he's he's got to play some defense, too. because now, Or offense. Well, I think a little bit of both because WWE, you know, it's been reported that uh, TNA and WWE are in talks to do some crossover events. That's going to be amazing. I think I think it's interesting that uh, you know he, he loses Trinity during this time frame. You know they said she's going to show up in the Royal Rumble. I hope so. I hope so. I really do too. Uh, but they're going to use her right, in my opinion. I don't know, man. Right. I, you know, you know the reason I I don't know because for years uh, when she was Naomi, she was get she was getting matches she and was opportunities. Like, you know, she was almost comedic relief. And then she went to TNA and showed, hey, look, I can do it. I can still wrestle. Yeah. And when someone says, hey, I can still wrestle, I can still go, and then they go and prove it, it makes me think that's probably what it should be at. Yeah. But, you know, we don't know what her situation is. I hope WWE doesn't kick themselves again. I hope they don't they don't drop the ball again, man. Because she's been really good. She's had some great matches with Nikki James. Mickey James, rather. Yeah. And, you know... Speaking of moving on, Mickey James going to OVW. Uh, she's going to be chief of creative um, for that wrestling brand, which is really interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I, but she's been around the business for 20 some years. Long time. And she's won every belt you can think of. She's been in almost every kind of match you can think of. She's all, had all kind of crazy storylines you can think of. Yeah, I could think of, but it's a lot. It's a lot, uh, but I think she could do it, man. I really do. I, I've always liked Mickey James. She's always been one of my favorite wrestlers because she's just she's different. I think she should be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. I agree with you. I yeah. think I think she should be in the Hall of Fame as well. Yeah, um, that would be a good thing. Moose is now he's returned to the spot. He's a TNA Heavyweight Champion. What do you think about that? Finally, I think I think. That his winning the championship has also a lot to do with that crossover event. Yeah. E- events that you're talking about. That makes a lot more sense. You know, Alan and I talk wrestling all the time. But, you know, we talked about this earlier. And I'll repeat our conversation real quick. I think that Nick DeMore wanted to have someone who had that belt. Before. Before. And when they go crossover with WWE, the first time you introduce to the champion is going to be someone that you know he wants to be the face of the company, like Moose or Josh Alexander. Yeah. So I wasn't surprised that Moose won that belt. Uh, no, no disrespect to Alex Shelley, he's been a really good champion. Yeah, but you had a lot of criticism on him lately. I, I was because you know he was one of the dudes. because he was a small wrestler. Well, not not just that. I, you know, I don't have. Let me preface it by saying I don't have a problem with small wrestlers. But I do have a problem with someone being the face of the company, and you can't identify who they are, um, like in just a, a sight lineup. Like Josh Alexander should have been champion, in my opinion. I know what Josh Alexander looks like. I know what Moose looks like. Yeah, 
they're the pillars they're, of Impact. They're the casuals. The casuals know who they are. Yeah. The casual fans know who they are by sight. Yeah. So imagine them going to WWE and getting exposed to millions more people mm-hmm. that never seen them. That would get that would get them more money. Yeah, that would get them a lot more exposure, a lot more money. Yeah, um, a lot more money. But shout out to Moose uh, for you know securing a working bag, horse, working horse to do works all kind of shows. It, you didn't know that Dolph Ziggler like made his debut. Yeah, he did. He made his uh, well, Nick Nemeth. Nick Nemeth, yeah. No, formerly he's Dolph Ziggler. He made his debut uh, after Moose won the championship. He put him in the zigzag. I saw it coming. Um. He was over. Like I said before, mm-hmm. where he wrestled, well, not wrestled, when he showed up at New Japan Pro, he seemed like he has a, a fire back in his belly. Yes, this is the aggressive Dolph Ziggler we needed a long time ago. That's somebody we need. Yeah. So uh, it's it's interesting to see him back in the different promotions, showing up, show, uh, call, you know, raising hell, you know, just showing that, you know, I, you know, like I said about, just like I said about Trin- Trinity. Showing that you still got it, you still want to go. Yeah, he's showing he still got it, man. And people care. Like WWE didn't do him right. Well, I don't know about that. I think he might have lost some of his competitive edge along the way. Yeah, twenty some years, and he's been champion everywhere he's been at too. Yeah, he was world WWE champion, which yeah. is crazy. T- TNA champion, Intercontinental champion a bunch of times, US champion, yeah, tag team champion a bunch of times with different people. Um, he's done it all. Yeah, but they you know, they just didn't give him the credit. Like I said, it's going to be a wild ride this year. Yeah, it'll be a wild ride this year. Speaking of wild ride, WWE should be kicking themselves. Not necessarily. You got to do a best for business, as yeah. Vince would say. But I, I don't like Vince. Hey, we, we, hey, he he formed the most successful wrestling enterprise we've ever seen in our lifetime. Whether, uh, I, I, I like what, tri- whether I, you I, like him or not. I, I like Triple H better than Vince McMahon. Not, not the point. Not the point. What I'm saying is, he's he's formed the most successful wrestling organization we've ever seen, or probably will ever see. Uh, you remember he changed the finish last year? He, I was so mad. It's it's his product. He can change the finish, man. It's a business. N- no, I, I didn't like that. Cody got screwed over. Not the point. It's his business. He can change it. It's if if it's your house, you can make the rules. It's house <sighs> rules. It's his rules. But getting oh, back to you know, getting back to changes, it was an ugly injury to Austin Theory and uh, Carmelo Hayes. I hope Austin Theory's okay. I hope both of them okay. Uh, yeah. It was bad. Um, it was a move off the top rope. I'd seen Theory do this move before. Yeah, but this was ugly. Yeah, it was not like botched. I, think I, he I, I think it was the footing. I think he slipped. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I seen Theory do this move before, so I was kind of I seen um, Grayson Waller do this move too. Yeah. So that's when I was I was kind of confused about how he how ugly he landed. Yeah. Man, I was I watching. I was a little scared. I was like, man, I hope this yeah. dude ain't broke his neck. No. Man, I was terrified. But you know, it they put a, a, a statement out saying that both of them are okay. Uh, you know, a little little sore and stuff like that. But you could tell that did not go right. Yeah, Grace Waller was just afraid. Uh man, I I was afraid, man. I I was really afraid for him. Uh yeah. just like uh Corjay, she suffered a bad injury too. Yeah. I hope she's okay too. And, you know, we have to put it out there too. That these highly trained athletes, injuries do happen. But let's just pray for their swift return and recovery. Yeah. And make sure that, you know, hopefully they don't have any lasting damage. Um, cuz we want to see them back out there, you know, as much as we yeah. You know, we we not necessarily uh, talk smack about some of these wrestlers or say crazy stuff about them. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. No. I mean, this is their job. It's how they feed their families. It's how they put, keep the lights on. And just like anybody else, you don't want to see them um, lose their lose they, uh, source of income or their health. Yeah. You know, so I, I hope these guys, I hope Austin Theory, Carmelo, uh, Corjay, I hope all these people recover fine, too. Yeah. You know, and still injury updates. AFA from the Wild Samoans. If we, those who don't know AFA, he is Roman Reigns' dad. <laughs> and he was one of the uh, Wild Samoans. He's in the WWE Hall of Fame. Um, he's in the Anoa family. Um, he had some heart problems. I think that's, you know, I'm speculating. You know, I'm speculating. I don't know 100% for certain. 
But I think that's why Roman Reigns didn't show up in that three way da- mm-hmm. that three way uh, tag team match. Yeah. The other night because his dad's in the hospital, and for anybody whose dad has been in the hospital, you know, my dad's been in the hospital, and it works shit out of me. I can't really do a lot of stuff uh, that I normally do because I'm thinking about my dad. So hopefully, you know, speedy recovery to him to Alpha. Um, you know, shout out to Roman Reigns. I know everybody takes a lot of stuff about him. They hate on him, this and that. But the dude moves the needle. He's what uh, a pro wrestler looks like. Moving on. Oba Femi. Incredible. North American champion. Already. What's your take on Oba? He is incredible, and he has a lot of big moves. He's young, too. He's, what, 23? Nah, 22. 22. Oh, that's right, 22. He is incredible athlete yeah he be dragon lead pretty clean in the ring he did he did i was kind of surprised though some of his moves were just like all not to say he can't move and stuff but he's very strong man very strong very strong he he reminds me a lot of, of powerhouse hobbs yeah like his strength how he can easily do things very very strong individual I, athletic too I, I think he should have the north american championship for a long time I, I don't know, man. I don't know. They they kind of cycle through that championship a lot. They, it's not like the, in the NXT championship where they kind of hold on to it for a while. Yeah. They kind of cycle through, you know, who wins that one. And usually the NXT belt is an indicator of whether or not they're going to send them to the main roster. Like, who should be his next opponent or first I, opponent? Okay. Maybe Duke. Duke Hudson, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I, I like Duke Hudson. Yeah. I like Duke Hudson. Duke can wrestle. Yeah, he can. People, people talk crazy shit about him, but that dude can wrestle, man. Yeah. He can wrestle. And I, I like I like the way he looks in the ring. He has good mic skills. Um, he doesn't really have any kind of uh, – be- he, he has some suspect matches because he's usually competing against smaller wrestlers. Yeah. But imagine him or Dijak with, with that dude, Oba. Amazing match. Amazing matches. <laughs> yeah. Because that dude, Oba, is an, he's also an athlete. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because he's yeah. so damn strong and big. Like, did Shawn Michaels do the do the right thing giving him that belt? I I don't know. It was a lot of people were, were poo-pooing it because, you know, he, had, he hadn't been there that long. Yeah. And he just won the belt. Yeah, he won the belt like within a couple months. Guys, please stop criticizing. Criticizing Oba Femi. I mean, you can't you can't say that. People have the right to their opinion. They can criticize who they want to. Just like you about to criticize Roman Reigns. I mean, you want Roman Reigns to be dethroned, right? Yes. Quick cause, segue. Because he's boring. <laughs> why, 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 tell me why you don't like him. <sighs> he had the title for too long. Way too long. I, I just want Cody just to pin him. And that's it. That's what I just want. So you think Cody is going to be the one? Yes. Why Cody? Because he's the future of the company. He has the crowd. He has the fan base. He has the merch. Mm, good, 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 compelling reasons. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't agree with you, but I, I think those are good reasons. Those are good reasons. Or LA Knight. I think LA Knight might be the next U.S. champion. Yeah. yeah. I, I think he might be the next U.S. champion. Yeah. Um. I like LA Knight to a certain extent, but I also think that uh, they've kind of wasted his his buzz opportunity because Jinder Mahal's back and Jinder Mahal's kind of like he has the buzz now, which is weird. I think it's a little weird too, uh, and he kind of blew up a little bit more after Tony Khan's uh, tweet or you know his post on X, which is you know formerly known as Twitter. But uh, after that, you know, his his profile is like really exploded. And I never yeah. thought Jinder Mahal was I never thought Jinder Mahal was a good champion. I never thought he was a good wrestler either. Yeah. But, you know, here we are. Yeah. You had a lot of criticism on Jinder Mahal. I never liked him. I never liked him. Um I think I think that he's playing also um Defense. No, I mean Jinder Mahal, he even though he you know he has he he's of Indian descent. And stuff like that. He's Canadian. Yeah. Did you know that? I, I know that. He's not from India. He's from Canada. Canada, yeah. Uh, but he appeals to a, a, you know about you know one point four billion people in one country, and and if WWE is anything, is very industrious 
and capitalist minded. They're looking to get into India and they're looking to get into China, these different markets where they can exploit, just like Saudi Arabia. Yeah. You know, they had these Saudi Arabian ra- uh, wrestlers. They want to get into that country. They want to get into that fan base. Those fan bases have money. Yeah. Those fan bases have disposable income. And they like wrestling. They actually really like wrestling. In that part of the world. I've been to that part of the world. And I'm telling you, besides, you know, um, on, you know, unarmed combat matches, you know, like MMA and stuff like that, boxing, they love professional wrestling. Yeah. They do. So it's smart to get him back in the mix and get him in the title hunt and maybe, you know, maybe have a big pay-per-view somewhere. Who, yeah. who knows? But I, I think Triple H is being strategic with this, you know, putting Jinder Mahal back into the mix. Yeah. I, I just don't, I don't like him as a wrestler. Y- you always criticize on him mostly. I, no, I only criticize him because he's, he's kind of boring to me. Just like you say about Roman Reigns, I think that about Jinder Mahal and a few other people. I've never seen the appeal of him. I see the appeal because you know he is a big dude. He's a big athlete. He he said he does good promos too. Yeah. But in the ring, I am not a fan of him. I know. Just not a fan. It, like, what if a cash in comes for Damian Priest? I don't see him winning the belt. Our truth would spoil it. I don't see Damian Priest winning the belt. I, I mean, I like Damian Priest. I think he's been around a long time. He's been on a different, bu- a bunch of different belts, in a lot of different places. But I don't think that he's gonna ever be heavyweight champion. I don't think he's gonna be world heavyweight champion, and I don't think he's gonna be WWE champion. Never say never. I'm just being real. Yeah, I mean, if he is, I'll, I'll eat my shoes and I'll come back on here and apologize. But I don't think I'm wrong. Um, I think that the North American Championship that he won in NXT is probably the biggest belt he's probably ever going to hold. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I like him. I liked him ever since he was in the indie circuit. He was Punishment Martinez. Dude appeals to a lot of different people. Good mic. Great mic skills. Amazing mic skills. Dude say crazy stuff in the ring. Yeah. And he has the voice. He has the look. Um, But, you know, guess what? Father Time's undefeated. He's 40-something years old. Yeah. He's 47 years old. And too. Yeah. These guys, they, they you don't wrestle forever. No. Nah. You know, the the situation with some of the stuff with the Hardy Boys is kind of showing us, you know, our heroes get old. Yeah. Our heroes are no longer able to perform sometimes. And I think that, um, you know, while he's still, you know, tearing it up right now, in like two or three years, he'll be gone. Yeah. I really believe that. But that's just me talking. Um, who do you think should be the next NXT champion, Alan? Trick Williams. I think Trick Williams should be the next NXT champion, too. Yeah. You know, what they say uh, on, on Insta- his Instagram, good-looking wrestler. <laughs> yeah. I like Trick, man. He's really fun to watch. Um, I think that he should have held the North American Championship a little bit longer. Yeah. I, I think him, he and Obi do uh, similar things. Obi Femi. Yeah, I think they do sim- similar things. But I think Trick is probably a better I don't even know if he's a better athlete now that I'm thinking about it. Because mm-hmm. Obi is just... He, he, he got that... He got that... Uh, he just got it. He, yeah. He got that, that, that turn it on and off gene. He's strong. Very strong. I like to see him... I like to see he and uh, Brock Lesnar in a match. Mm-hmm. You know, I know he's young. He probably get ate up. But I just like to see where he's at. Yeah. Remember Brock Lesnar got ate up by Bobby Lashley last year? I, that was a motivated Lashley, and it was writing. Yeah. Um, and just like that, I'll, I'll revert to what we just talked about. Lesnar and, and uh, Bob, Big Bobby, they both 40-somethings. Yeah. They're 40 some years old, apiece. I think Brock's going to retire next year I or think, this year. I don't know if Bobby's going to be with the company a lot longer, but he still looks phenomenal. It, what about the Street Profits? They're changing their name. They'll yeah. be known as the Pride. Yeah. Um, I th- hate that name, but, uh, you know, it's a faction, so they probably will go back to the Street Profits eventually. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, man. I like the pro- I like the Profits. I like, I, like, I like the whole faction. I like Montez Ford better than Angelo Dawkins. He and Bianca Belair are getting a TV show. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew that. 
that's kind of weird that the and not weird, but because Bianca Belair is like she's she's probably one of those, those top five wrestlers. Yeah, that they have at that company. People love her, man. But you know, the only other couple I remember have seeing was you know Miz and and Maurice. Yeah, Miz. And I think this show with Bianca because Bianca Belair is more popular wrestler than the Miz. She is, and, and yeah. she has the look, man, and and people like her, and she says the right stuff. Yeah, and even the Make a Wish kids, they like, hey, instead of John Cena, we want her. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, that that tell you, you know, the esoteric wrestling fan can pick her out and say that's Bianca Belair. Yeah, so it's interesting they gave her and Montez a show. I think that's amazing. I think it's pretty good too. Um. Want we'll to talk about Gunther for a little bit, buddy, big buddy? Yeah. Who do you think he's going to drop that belt to? Uh, it's a tough one. It's a toss-up. Maybe you... Chad Gable or Sheamus. I think Ricochet should win it. Tiny Ricochet? No, nah, not happening. We not say Ricochet. I've seen him compete with Gunther a lot. Ricochet is a tiny wrestler. There's no chance. Ricochet's pretty good. And guess what? He's really strong. I seen an old match. I think you might have sent it to me. That was from twenty twenty two. Dude went all out, picked Gunther's big ass up and put him in a superplex. I was like, what? At least he still lost the match. Not not the point. My point is he can compete with him and have put on really good matches. And I think WWE this is how they missed the ball with Dolph Ziggler. They didn't book him right, and then once they did book him right, they said, Well, he's not wrestling well. Ricochet, even when they even when they book him wrong, he goes out and go like shows out, like he puts on crazy matches. And if he's in a battle royal, expect him to do watch him, just watch him. He's gonna do something you've never seen before. He's still a tiny wrestler. He's he's like EO Sky and all them. He does stuff you've never seen, and you probably won't see other wrestlers do for a long time. And I think if they don't do him right, they're gonna they're gonna end up losing him. Because he's still, and he's probably in the prime of his career right now. Yeah. He is in the prime of his career right now. And I used to talk crazy about him because, yeah, he's he's a tiny wrestler, this and that. But when I saw him live, I had a new respect for him because I was like, this dude can do anything. You know, he's, he's I think when they book him against these, like, these super heavyweights like Omos and some of these crazy dudes. Yeah, he don't have a chance, but he put he book him uh, competitively against people like Seth Rollins, some of these other high flyers, or Rick, Logan Rick, Paul. Yeah, he puts on phenomenal matches. He puts on matches that you have to like sit down and think about. Like, did he just do that? Remember, he had a really good match with Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, the dude is incredible, man. It's just that they don't book him correctly all the time, and then when they don't do it, people. Oh, he's a tiny... He shouldn't be in the ring with that. Yeah, you're right. Because he shouldn't have got booked like that. He don't control his own he, booking. He's still a tiny wrestler. I agree with you, but I think you have to look past that and say, you know what? He probably needs to get a shot at Intercontinental Champion. Be the Intercontinental Champion. Not really. You, you know that's not going to happen. You don't know that. You can't... And this is nothing to... You can't be champion forever. Like you say about Roman Reigns, Gunther won't be champion by this time next year. You know why Gunther's a really good Intercontinental Champion? He wrestles every week. Ricochet wrestles every week. He's still an injury. That dude wrestles hurt. He wrestles house shows. He wrestles dark shows. He wrestles all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think people um, need to start having uh, an exit plan for Gunther. You start having an exit plan for Roman Reigns because these guys are not going to be champion forever. No, Gunther's the greatest intercontinental champion in the world. Period. Period. Alan's a gun. He's a Gunther stand. <clears throat> but anyway, we're gonna wrap it up this week. And I just want to give a shout out to give some props to Athena and Trinity, the goats. You know, they stand in women's wrestling right now. I really like. Um, I really like Athena's run. Um, I'm not sure if she's gonna be like that, like Trinity, because you know, from my understanding, she didn't have a great breakup with WWE when she left. So, hopefully she stays in Ring of Honor because she's killing it. Yeah. She's killing it. She's she's probably one of the most popular. She's probably the most popular, one of the most popular women's champions they've ever had. 
And she she wrestles every week. She does. Yeah. Uh, and she's a good wrestler, just like Trinity was. Um, it's just really hard to see, you know, the, the women's division, what WWE had, and what they what they've lost, what's out there, and what it could have been. And who came back? And who 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 is coming back? Yeah. So, it, like I said, you know, let's give their flowers while they're here. Athena, Trinity, you guys are awesome. You guys are killing it. Really appreciate watching you guys. Um, that, that's it for me. Next time, see you down the road. Bye.